I think many of them are afraid to go on record uh, for fear that the ATF may seek retribution. Paul Vallone reporting with Guns, Politics, and Freedom from Las Vegas and the Shooting, Hunting, and Outdoor Trade Show, arguably the largest gun show in the world and one where you may not actually purchase and leave with a firearm, but you can sign the contract for uh, millions of dollars for your army if you so choose. Uh, the SHOT Show is recovering from COVID nicely. Um, in fact, uh, it seems to have been uh, be pretty much up to the level it was at before uh, the pandemic hit. I've been asking some of the local uh, representatives and the manufacturers here about the impact of the recent pistol stabilizing brace ban announced by the ATF. Since many of them have actually inventory with pistol stabilizing braces, which once the ban is entered into the federal register, they will be unable to transfer as such. They can transfer them as short barrel rifles, but of course that involves additional regulations, a weight for the ATF, a $200 tax stamp, and much more. Um, most of them are unwilling to comment uh, extensively on this, and definitely unwilling to comment on video, uh, because, well, for a couple of reasons, actually. The first is that uh, they don't know exactly how much of this ban will take effect, whether or not it will, be, it will be litigated, as was the recent bump stock ban in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. But beyond that, um, I think many of them are afraid to go on record um, for fear that the ATF may seek retribution. Um, this is a, an oppressive ban, I think, that is going to cause insurmountable problems in the firearms industry, and it remains to be seen how much of it will actually uh, take effect. More on this later.